Okay, this is the um, possum boxes that the men's sheds, men's shed have, have made. Um, it, they actually did a great job. These are nice and big. I've got a mother and baby possum in my care at the moment. Um, as you can see, I've got them to drill holes here so the rope can go through. Um, these can be tied around the um, tree. And um, also down there, I've put rope in there that's come out that can be tied into the tree. The coconut fibre is really good because it's antibacterial. Um, I'll be putting more in here so it's a bit of a soft rest for mother and baby possum to be um, resting in. Uh, when these go in the tree, I would probably get the top screwed uh, and nailed in so they don't lift. That way uh, no cats can get to the wildlife or resting in there. Uh, these are a bit smaller, made by another uh, volunteer, so I'm looking to make a smaller hole. These would be perfect for the uh, swift parrots that are starting to come through and feed around the light rail in the trees. Um, uh, rainbow lorikeets can use them as nest boxes, but other parrots will use them as nest boxes as well. So these will be painted with a waterproof paint like this to allow it to last longer. Um, so you can see how the rope, um, there's lots of rope here that I've got, uh, ready to be strapped into a tree. And down the bottom, uh, these this has been uh, threaded through those two holes in the bottom so there's lots of rope there that can be threaded into the tree around the tree so it doesn't harm the tree um, and this metal bit uh, I just got the guys at the men's shed to cut it off um, so with this bit that's left I was thinking about putting a rope through there but come to think of it it's probably good to get rid of it all together which I've done here so I don't have the right tools I've only got um, this to work with so I've snipped that off and then hammered it um, on the side so that way um, there's no pointy bits uh, that could cut into or harm the wildlife or the possum if they needed to escape for any reason but um, it's a fabulous hole um, for you know any large parrots or um, brush tails or even a family of ring tails that choose to make a drain here so um, definitely good shelter and uh, this is a really cute, cute touch for them to step in and out of quite easily so plenty of room and a brilliant shelter so these will make really good um, nest boxes um, and protection for our wildlife to be able to have their young and um, raise them safely uh, without being predated upon by powerful owls that are starting to move through the area uh, or any ferals like cats or god knows what uh, coming through so uh, that's the best solution for this and um, yeah there's 20 of them to go up uh, plus these ones that will get modified, so we can use these as um, parrot boxes that can be placed horizontally or uh, vertically. So um, I just need to make the hole a little bit smaller, that way they'll be um, safe in a few grooves in there. So, um, but these are pretty much ready to go to be um, installed by the council arborist into the trees. Um, so it's a really beautiful solution. And thanks to Bendigo Bank for financing it and allowing them to build these. So these will be really, really helpful to put across the bush sites along the right light rail to give our uh, wildlife in the inner west a chance to thrive and live comfortably for all the trees that are going down, which is really distressing, I must admit. Um, we've lost some beautiful mature trees on private lands. I'm really... Um, I'm just absolutely disgusted by Liberals and Labor for doing that, um, but thank God uh, the Greens are fighting to try and change the laws to keep all of our um, mature trees, like, even on private property, secured. We really need them um, because hollows are pretty much scarce. So what we're doing is we're actually witnessing um, extinction before our eyes. So when those parrots age, they won't have babies and they can't have babies they have no hollows but this way we can create hollows for them so you know let's work together and um, allow them to thrive with us and live safely and give them some habitat rather than taking everything away so we need to do everything we can to save our wildlife um, around us because we've lost way 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 too much forest um, down south and I've been down to Mogo and around Cabago and the forests are collapsing there the canopies are collapsing the hills are denuded, the trees still are not reviving. Um, some of the trees are, but a lot of them are just collapsing. It's 
it's really horrible. We, we need to really get busloads of city people down there to start replanting native trees in those that belong in those regions um, as soon as we can. Uh, yeah, so thanks for your support and I'm so much looking forward to 20 of these current possum boxes to go up and um, uh, these will be modified to make them into musk uh, lorikeet um, and rainbow lorikeets can have their young in here as well plus other parrots, uh, galards that we're starting to find coming through, corellas um, and all the other amazing species that need help too. Thanks for watching.